M. Viduga Group believes in work hard, stay humble. 1894 was the dawn of M. Viduga Group, the pioneer and the leading business house in Nepal, established by Lead Sri Tanmal Dugar and Sri Lunkaran Dugar. Moti Lal Dugar, the heir to this 140 years old business legacy, is a third generation entrepreneur and the chairman of M. Viduga Group. Having their own offices at 16 locations and dealers all over Nepal, the group envisions to consolidate its position further not just as a successful company but also as a significant contributor to the social and economic development of the country. Currently works of Amviduga Group encompass diversified business ventures in, in banking and finance, Amviduga Group is the major promoter of Sunrise Bank Limited a leading A-category bank in Nepal, having 68 branches all over the country. Gross Life Insurance, which is one of the leading life insurance companies in Nepal, both the financial institutions are led under the chairmanship of Mr. Motilal Dugar. MV Dugar Group is the pioneer in the field of automobile distributor. It has diverse products to offer. Rail Infield Motorcycle, Nissan Vehicle, Mahindra and Mahindra Commercial Vehicle, John Deere Agri Solutions, Kirloskar Power Teller and Pumps, Hiwa are the leading brands in the automobile under the flagship of MV Dugar. Kohinoor Cold Storage is one of the leading and the biggest cold storage in the country, providing the best assured upgrade in modern technology storage facility. To address the constantly increasing demand and high consumption of power in Nepal, MV Dugar Group is building hydropower, consequently supporting in the country's infrastructural development. We have always looked forward to future while planning our growth strategy and kept our focus to be market leaders in all the business we venture into. With this philosophy, goal, vision, our group has decided to venture into hydropower business few years ago and has been professionally working on same and today we feel very happy to reach the stage of making this dream come to reality. We feel hydropower is a sustainable profitable industry that has huge export potential to neighboring countries like India and Bangladesh. It is environmental friendly and protection of environment is the most burning issue in the whole world today and MV Dugar Group is very proud and satisfied to indulge ourselves with passion and zeal for this noble cause to generate power through renewable energy. Currently, we are developing three projects of 157 megawatt and other few projects are in different stages of development including one storage project. We intend to be one of the leading hydropower developers of Nepal. Currently, MV Dugar Group is working on three hydropower projects with a combined capacity of 157 megawatt. Liku A, 29.04 MW hydroelectric project is developed by Number Himalaya Hydropower Private Limited. This is the Headworks Overview. The water from the Liku River bounces in the way and goes through the intake into the settling basin. The water then flows to the headrest tunnel and into the surge tank. Then the water flows through the pressure shaft into the powerhouse. The turbine used in this powerhouse is Francis, three in numbers of output having 9.7 megawatt each. Then the water flows back to the river through the tail race. Similarly, Liku 1 77 megawatt hydroelectric project is developed by Pan Himalayan Energy Private Limited. This is the Headworks overview. The water from the Liku River bounces in the way and goes through the intake into the settling basin.
The water then flows to the head race tunnel and into the surge tank. Then the water flows through the pressure shaft into the powerhouse. The turbine used in this powerhouse is vertical axis Pelton, 3 in numbers having 26.6 MW each. Then the water flows back to the river through the tail race. Liquid 2 Hydroelectric Project is a 55 MW project developed by Global Hydropower Associate Private Limited. This is the Headworks Overview. The water from the Liku River bounces in the way and goes through the intake into the settling basin. The water then flows to the head race tunnel and into the surge tank. Then the water flows through the pressure shaft into the powerhouse. The turbine used in this powerhouse is Francis 3 in numbers of output having 18.548 MW each. Then the water flows back to the river through the tail race. Here at MV Dugar Group Hydropower Division, we're looking to move hydropower construction in Nepal into the 21st century. We're doing this by following a two-pronged approach. The first being by using state-of-the-art equipment, whether that be drilling jumbos, robotic shortcut machines, low-profile dump trucks, or hag loaders and other continuous forms of mucking. At the same time, we're also looking to employ the best expert manpower available, whether that be locally or internationally. By doing this, we are confident that we will create a team that can complete these projects within a span of 30 months and move Nepal into the future. Sadak, <laughs> एक दुई ए जलविद्युत आयोजनाले सडक विस्तारको क्रम सुरु गरिसकेपछि स्थानीय बासिन्दाहरुले सहज रूपमा बजार सम्मको पहुँच पाएका छन् एम्बुलेन्सहरु सञ्चालन गर्नुदा सजिलो हुने भएको नाले बिमारी पर्दा उनीहरुले सजिलै स्वास्थ्य उपचार गर्ने अवस्थामा पुगेको छन् र निर्माण सामग्रीहरु स्थानीय स्तरमा ढुवानी गर्दा जुन कठिनाइ थियो त्यो सहज भएको छ just like that, Stani Basinda Aru, Ayazana Ko Sorak Vistar Nirman from the Hitere Arsitan. First of all, I would like to thank on behalf of MV Dugar Group all our staffs, stakeholders for believing in the group, its vision and working very hard to achieve the set goals. MV Dugar Group would have not reached where it stands today without the teamwork of its members. Secondly, I would like to thank all our bankers for always believing in our vision and always being there to support our ventures. This 140 years of continuous support by them is the reason being MV Dugar Group stands among top three groups of Nepal and has been able to contribute to Nepal economic development greatly. Third and finally, I would like to thank all our government and bureaucrats in past and present. Without government's helping hand, no sector can grow. And we have always got the ears from our government who has listened to the genuine concern raised by, our, by us time to time and worked towards solving the problems. And I feel this is one of the major reasons why today in Nepal Many hydro projects have moved ahead as most of the concerns of this sector has been addressed by our government. I feel we are now in the process of transferring our nation from being a power deficit country to power exporting country which will uplift our economy 
to next level of prosperity.